Welcome to our introduction to R programming. Well, the first thing we need to do is talk about what R is. R is a statistical programming language. It doesn't have what's called a graphical user interface. That is, there are no buttons to click and no drop-down menus. Now, although that might seem a little bit daunting to some, but don't worry, we're going to learn how to program, that is to type in commands, so that we can customize the output that you need to analyze your data so that you can make reasonable conclusions. Now one way we make that easier is to use another program called RStudio. It's going to help you to use R. It will make it easy to access our data, find help, to preview our plots, and to preview the outputs. So we're going to need to download both R and RStudio. When we program in class, all you'll have to do once you've downloaded them is open RStudio and you'll be able to use R to do our data analysis. So let's see how all that works. So the first thing we have to do is we have to upload R and RStudio onto our computers. So we'll either, either you have, a, generally most students have either a window or Mac, so I'm going to show you how to upload R and RStudio on Windows. So the first thing you need to do is go to this website that I have right here. So I'm going to copy that link, I did control C, and I'm going to go to my web browser and put that in there. So I paste that in, hit enter, and now I'm brought to the R website where I can now download what I need. So on this home page, if you scroll down, you'll see this particular paragraph. The R, pro, um, the R project for statistical computing, getting started. And what we want to do is we want to download R, but the first thing we knew, need to do is we have to pick what's called our CRAN mirror. So what I'd like for you to do is just click onto the download R. It will take you to this CRAN mirror. It's just a place you pick the closest location. So you're going to scroll down to you see USA and our closest location is Duke University. So you are going to click on to this um, link right here. When we click on to that link, now it's time to download R. Now I'm on a Windows machine, so I'm going to show everything in Windows. There'll be another video for Mac users. So I download R for Windows. I click on to that link. It brings me into this page, R for Windows, and I'm going to install R for the first time. So I want to click on to Base, Install R for the first time. What we want to download is R 4.0.2. Now, the version might change if they do some updates, so it might not be 4.0.2, maybe it will be 4.0.3 um, or whatever if they've done updates since I've made this video. But this is what you want to download. So I'm going to click on to that download right here. And it will take a few moments for it to download onto your computer as you can see right here. Now once it downloads, you can click right here if your computer has that, and you will then start to download R. If not, you can go to your Downloads folder and it will be right there, and you can left click onto that to download. It's going to, your computer will say, do you want to allow this app to make changes? Hit yes, and you're going to start your download. So it will ask you what language, choose your language. Then you have to read your um, information. Yes. Then you choose the file that you want it to go into, or just keep it as the default on your computer. You want to go on and load all the different components in here. I'm going to choose all of the defaults. I'm not going to customize. Now you can choose to have a startup. Um, shortcut on your start menu. I would say yeah, I would do that if I were you. I'm going to put a shortcut on my desktop and on my quick launch. And now we'll extract all the files and it's now downloading R onto your computer. 
Now you hit finish and R is now downloaded onto your computer. So where could you find it? There'll be several places. When you hit start on your quick start, you can see R is right here. It's been recently added. You can also find it down in here into your folders. And you can actually open up R and literally program right in R. The, um, the R interface looks like this. And you could actually program, see where the red prompt is? You could actually program in here. But the problem is um, you won't see your graphics as well. So what we want to do is we want to put in a program that you, that you use R, but it makes for a nicer interface. And that's why we have to download R Studio. So our next thing is to download R Studio. So you're going to go to the following website that I have here, and you're going to download R Studio. And you're going to choose your version of our studio. We want our studio desktop open source for free and we want to download that. So we click on download and now going through we want to download our studio for Windows so we click on that and it will now download. So you can left click on the R Studio that you just downloaded, or once again, you go to your download file, if you, if you don't see that at the bottom of your um, browser page, you could go and left click on to uh, R Studio, the R Studio file here. So I'll left click this time on here. So you left click, double left click on here, and it's opening up that R Studio. It's going to ask me, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? you hit yes. Then you're going to come to the setup wizard and um, you're going to hit next because you want to start installing R. So you're going to click next. Now it's time to choose where you're going to install your program. I usually just take their default that they have then this new dialog box will appear and it's the folder in which in the start menu you'll see our studio. I just leave it as its own folder and I hit install. And now it will extract the files and start downloading our studio onto my computer. Then you will see completing our studio setup. You just hit finish and now our studio is on your computer. Now things that I would suggest is um, I like to put our studio in my quick um, access down here at the bottom. So I'm going to hit my start because I want to put our studio in my uh, quick access. So I hit my start. I go to my folder that has our studio in it. Then I right click on this our studio and I want to um, hit more because I want to pin it right in here to my taskbar so I can see it every time I turn on my computer. So I pin it to my taskbar and there you see our studio. So now all I have to do whenever I open my computer if I want to use R is I click onto that and R will open up for me. And now this is the interface for our studio. It looks a there's a little bit more in here than just the regular R. What you're going to notice is there's a global environment where we'll be able to import data sets and actually see the data sets. Here, this little box, this viewer right here, has lots of things. I can see all my files on my computer. When I actually um, program, I can see the plots that I program, and if I've downloaded different packages to use for R, um, we'll talk about that later, um, I can look at those. The helps for R are in here, how I can get to them, and then my viewer, just looking at my viewer. So in this window that says console, this is the one where I'm actually going to type in my uh, different commands so I can do things in R. So this is how we download R and R Studio. So a quick introduction to how I would actually use R. I'm going to just do a quick example. So I have a file that's in R and I'm going to open this file and we'll learn a different way to do this, but I just want to do a quick example. I want to open with R Studio. 
and I hit yes. So it will load in my data and I can actually view this data if I'd like. I just left clicked on there and I see my data. So now I've uploaded some data, it's actors ages. So in here, I want to now, um, again, look at my console and I want to do a histogram of actors and ages. So there's a command that I could use. Histogram, I want it for that actor, the actual data set that I have here is actor underscore age. So I would write that. I could write it like this, or what's nice is our studio will give me a helping hand to say, yes, that's the file that I want in there. And I'm going to actually give the name of the variable and I'm going to call it age, because that's the name of the variable that's in there is age. And I want to have eight bars. So the command I would use for that is I want eight breaks in there. So once I type that in, I hit enter. And now in my plots appears the histogram of my um, actors and their ages. And we're going to learn how to change the titles and how to customize. But for right now, that's just a quick look at um, how we're going to use R to do some statistical analysis. So we can talk about the shape of this histogram, um, you know, what's the proper measure of center and spread and all of that. So just a quick brief look at um, uh, downloading R and R Studio and a quick look at how we're going to use it. Thanks so much for watching.